In this video I'm showing how to resolve an issue where Outlook 2013 fails to start. And just to give an example here, I'm going to go ahead and open Outlook. And you'll see that it immediately goes to this Microsoft Outlook has stopped working and then to trying to recover. And it'll spin here for a while and then eventually fail. So I'm going to go ahead and say close. And then if you try to open it again, similar issue, do you want to start in safe mode? Even if we say yes, something is wrong with one of the data files, say OK. Tries to run the inbox repair, doesn't work. So if you're having this issue, it's due to corruption with the Outlook OST file. And that file is actually located in this path, so one of the possible ways of fixing it is to browse to this location and then delete this file. So that's what I'm going to do here. And to do that, I'm going to open up Explorer and then go into the C drive, Users, the profile name, when you get to this screen you won't see the app data folder because it's a hidden folder by default so you have to go to view options change folder and search options hit view and then show hidden files and folders and say okay and then app data appears go into local Microsoft Outlook and then this is the file that we need to delete so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now And now whenever we open Outlook, it opened on my other monitor, so I'm gonna drag it over. You can see that it opened up successfully here. So this is the first way to solve this problem, but if it doesn't work, you may need to create a new Outlook profile. And to do that, just go ahead and close Outlook and open up Control Panel. Go to Mail, Show Profiles, click on Add, and just type a profile name. Say OK. At this screen, you'll need to know your settings for your email account. Mine's a Gmail account, so it's pretty simple. Let's say next. And if you get this screen, it means that the profile was created successfully, so just say finish. And this drop down, you have to select the new profile so that Outlook will use it. And say OK. And then when you open Outlook, it should open up with the new profile. And you can see here that everything opened up successfully. So that's it for this video. Hit the like button if it was helpful. And thanks for viewing.